Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be previewing Tottenham Hotspur's upcoming match after uh, their first one after the winter break as they prepare to take on Brighton and Hove Albion in the fourth round of the FA Cup on Saturday, February 5th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. You can watch this match in the USA on uh, ESPN+. Plus. Now, moving on to each team's recent form. For Tottenham, it was a 2-0 loss at the hands of Chelsea away from home right before the winter break on the 23rd of January. Hakim Ziyech and Thiago Silva dealt, dealt the final blow against Tottenham to leave them with a... Um, Z with zero points. And for Brighton's last fixture, it was away against Leicester City, and they drew one all with goals for Leicester from Patson Daka and goals from Danny Welbeck from Brighton. Yes. Um, moving on to team news for Tottenham, we've got no confirmed outers, uh, no confirmed outs. Um, Romero is a doubt with a hamstring injury still, but he has resumed full training. Same with Son, he's got a muscle injury and he's a doubt, but he has resumed full training. We're going to move on to Brighton's team news. For Brighton, we have McAllister, who is out with COVID-19, Moepu, who is out with a hamstring injury, Steele, which is out with a back injury, Sarriamento, which is out with a hamstring injury, and Caicedo, who is doubtful and is injured. Yes, we're going to move on to projected lineups. For projected lineups, in between the sticks, we have goalkeeper Hugo Lloris, who has been brilliant this season for us, just signed a new two-year contract. Takes his time at the club until 2024, and if he does stay until 2024, that extends his time to 12 years at the club from signing with us. He is a, in, he is a true Spurs legend. In 2012. In my opinion, Leon. one of the best seasons, one of the best um, players this season. We've probably had, he, I think, is the most loyal player we've ever had because he stayed with us for 12 years. He's a World without, Cup winner. Without winner. winning any trophies. Yeah. Going through all this stress with us. Yeah, still here I don't know how he does it. After 12, well, how many? 10 um, years. 10 years, yeah. Uh, moving on to our back three, we have Davinson Sanchez, Eric Dyer, and Benjamin Davies. I don't think Christian Romero will start. I mean, he could play this game, but I think we'll save him for Southampton, and he will be better fit to play in Southampton and will be in better form. Um, so, yeah, Sanchez, Dyer, Davies, our trusted back pair of three. Solid at the back, as always. Yeah, after we saw Kuti injured, um, they really... It was like, at the beginning of the season, it was... Dyer, Davies, and Kuti, but then it was Dyer, Davies, Sanchez, and it worked out really well while Kuti was gone. Especially and once, um, da, uh, what's his name? Sanchez, Sanchez found his form. Yeah. Because he was missing form for a while. Yeah, he was really good over this winter, uh, over, especially December. Um, yeah. Moving on to our two midfielders, we have Harry Winks and Oliver Skip. I don't, Hobby, I don't think Hobby will uh, start this game. We'll save him his um, stamina for mid against, against, against Southampton. Yeah, Winks hasn't gotten a start in some time, I think. Um, so we'll give him a chance there. Skip, I don't think has had a start either. I think it's Skip. Skip hasn't had a start in some time, so we'll. Um, I think we'll see him out. Uh, Benton Kur has just come back from Uruguay as we are recording this video, so on Thursday night. So there's a very, very low chance that he'll even be able to play, uh, even be up here on the bench for Saturday, as uh, he may not have re received his work permit yet. Moving on to the wingbacks. We have Matt Doherty and Ryan Sessegnon. Matt Doherty is definitely the option here. Emerson has not been in great form, but hopefully he'll be ready to play against Southampton. Also actually got a red card for international duty against Brazil in 20 minutes. 20 minutes and he got a red card. That's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to um, Sess, on the other hand. Hasn't played... Well, he played, he played He's Morecambe. been injured. He played Morecambe. That was yeah. his last game. And then he was injured. Yeah. He's got an injury problem, as does half our team, but he's back. He hasn't looked too bad this season. We know we can't overuse Reg Regulon because we overused Regulon at the end of last season, and look what happened to him. He just got burnt out. 
like five games in a row. He nearly just scored an own goal. Yeah. Nearly scored an own goal against Leeds and a, yeah. a horrific own goal against Aston Villa. Yeah, so can't overwork him this season. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> cannot. Moving on to our front three, we have Kane, Son, and our new signing, Dejan Kulusevski. So as we see, Kane definitely starting. Kulusevski looks like he's gonna start because we want to save Lucas for Southampton and Bergwijn and Bergwijn. Um, and Son, I think we'll get a start here, back in training, and he'll be ready for this game. Kulusevsky's also, um, this will be a perfect first impression, impression chance for him. In the FA Cup. FA Cup, not a Premier League game yet. It's against a lower tier side in Brighton. Obviously, they've been I mean, great this season. I mean, still Premier League yeah. team. I mean, still Premier League, but... You can't you know. say they're a lower team. Like They're like, not. what are they, nine? There's, 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 okay. Yeah, they're nine. There's a difference between the FA Cup and the Premier League. I don't know what it is, but there's always yeah. been a difference in my opinion. So I think there's a perfect outing for Kulusevski right in front of the home Here's fans the as well. Brighton literally have six wins. That's all they have. We have 11 wins. They They're have ties. 12 draws. Yeah. 12. We have, what, three? We have three. three. <laughs> yeah, but Kulusevski, there's the perfect outing in front of the home fans. Chance just under a week from after he signed. Um, yeah, I think there's a perfect chance for Dejan Kulusevski to really make his mark on the Tottenham fans. And for us to see how he does. Um, he is here on an 18-month loan. We'll go more into the depth of his deal as well as Benton Kerr's deal um, and our thoughts on the signings in our transfer window roundup, which should be coming out soon as well. Um, let's move on to projected lineups. Uh, sorry, projected scores. <laughs> okay, my projected score is 3-0 Tottenham. I think we're going to see a 2-0. 3-0. I'm going to say Kane bags, Kane bags 2 and um, came back to, and I think Winks will score. Winks always scores in the FA Cup or Carabao Cup. One of them. Yeah, uh, yeah I think Winks will score, and I think Kane will score. And I think Dejan Kulusevski will get an assist. Yeah. Hi, a high. I know high standards for a um for a debut, but I th- I think I think he's got it in him. See, I, I didn't say De- De- Dejan's gonna score a goal no, because no. I I. We don't know. Debut we goals don't know are so is. rare, except for the 2019-20 season when La Celsa scored a debut goal and Domble scored a debut goal and Sessegnon scored a debut yeah. goal. Three people scored it. And Bergwijn. Bergwijn as Bergwijn well. scored a debut goal as well. Four of Jetson our signings. Jetson was the only one that didn't. And Jack Clark. Yeah, and, but yeah. that guy's like $10 million for Wait, like, when did he score? He didn't score. Oh. Yeah, that's the, that's, that was the... Jetson was close, I think, on his debut. Yeah, he was close. It was that Very nil-nil close. draw against Watford. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's it for our preview. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoy our content. Comment down below what your thoughts um, on the game are, are and uh, list your projected scores below. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!